Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing really well. If this is your first time here, I'm Lindy Peters. On my channel, we talk about all things financial. Saving, budgeting. I also do saving challenges from time to time, so check out for those. And I'll be sharing my investment journey of stocks and crypto with you guys as well. So in today's video, we'll be having a look at how much I've earned in my monthly paying dividends and how much I've earned in my quarterly paying dividends. If you're not already a part of Trading212, I'll leave a link in the description below to my deals page where you can find the link to joining Trading212 and you can earn your free share in your account. Now, if you live in the UK, I would recommend opening an ISA account. Now, ISA account is a great way to save money tax free. Now you can pay up to £20,000 a year into this account and all the dividends you'll be earning in this account, you will be earning tax-free. So this is a great way for your money to work for you. So in today's video, we'll be having a look at how much dividends I've earned for the month of September and October 2021. But in total for September 2021, I earned £22.10. And for the month of October, I earned £26.56. So first off, for the month of September, on my monthly paying dividends, I bought more of Gladstone Commercial Corporation. I bought one share on the 20th of September 2021 at a cost of £15.66. And having a look at what did I earn for the month of September, first off, I earned interest on realty income at £1.45. Next up is LTC Properties. I earned £2.57. Then we've got Stag Industrial. I earned £1.13. Main Street Capital. I earned £1.53. Pembina Pipeline. I earned £1.86. Gladstone Commercial Corporation. I earned £1. AGNC Investment Corporation. I earned £1.48. Agree Realty Corporation. I earned £1.20. And Whitestone Read, I earned 22 pence. If you found this helpful so far, please smash the like button so it turns blue, as this will help me with the YouTube algorithm, and I will appreciate your support a lot. And that gives you a total monthly income on my monthly paying dividends for the month of September of 12 pounds and 44 pence. So having a look at my quarterly paying dividends for the month of September, I bought one share of IBM on the 20th of September 2021 at a cost of £97.62. So having a look at my dividend income for the month of September, first off we've got J&J, which I made 65 pence. Then we've got Exxon Mobil, which I made £6.96. pence, And IBM, I made £2.05. That gives me a dividend income of £9.66 for my quarterly paying dividend stocks for the month of September 2021. So having a look at my growth stocks for the month of September, first off I bought Workforce 5 more shares of on the 16th of September 2021 at a cost of £30.22. Then I bought one more share of QuantumScape on the 16th of September 2021 at a cost of £15.39. I also also bought 10 more shares of ISEA Worldwide on the 16th of September 2021 at a cost of £13.93. So if we have a look at the value at September, you will see my workhorse is quite down, but that is fine. I'm waiting for it to come back. So at the moment, I'm just costing averaging down so that I bring my overall cost for workhorse down. Next off, we've got Rolls-Royce, which is in a positive. Then we've got QuantumScape, which is in a negative as well but I'm still buying shares on the way down as I do believe in these companies and this is bringing my costing average down like they always say you buy when the market is fearful and you sell when the market is in greed then we've got Cirrus Corporation which I'm breaking a little bit more than even on then we've got Tesla which I'm in a nice big 
plus then we've got Isaiah Worldwide which I'm down on but it's not a worry for me as this is something that happens with stocks the up and down if you would love to get great deals check out my deals page you can also get your first free share by joining me on trading 212 through my link if you would like to find out more about the companies that I have invested in I leave all my links in the description below where I go into more detail about these companies and do my stock analysis for them so having a look at the month of October, first off, we bought LTC Properties 5 share off on the 6th of October 2021 at a cost of £118.05. We also bought more of Agree Realty Corporation. I bought 4 shares on the 8th of October 2021 at a cost of £198.07. So let's have a look at how much dividends I received for the month of October. So first off, we've got Realty Income, which I earned £1.46. Next, I've got LTC Properties, which I earned £2.61. Then we've got Stag Industrial, which I earned £1.12. Then I've got Main Street Capital, which I earned £1.56. Then we've got Pambina Pipeline, which I earned £1.98. Then we've got Gladstone Commercial Corporation, which I earned one pounds and ten pence. AGNC Investment Corporation, I earned one pounds and fifty pence. Agree Realty Corporation, I earned one pounds and twenty-one pence. And Whitestone Reed, I earned twenty-two pence. If you don't want to miss out on any of my future videos, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and you click the bell. So my total monthly dividend income for the month of October was £12.67. So having a look at my quarterly paying dividend stocks for the month of October. First off, I bought PPL Corporation one share on the 8th of October 2021 at a cost of £20.91. Then I bought more of at and I bought two shares on the 6th of October 2021 at a cost of £40.12. I also bought Exxon Mobile two shares on the 6th of October 2021 at a cost of £89.11. So having a look at my monthly paying dividend income for the month of October. First off, I earned more of Altria Group £8.41. Vanguard FTSE, I earned £75. Annually Capital Management, I earned £1.36. PPL Corporation, I earned £3.37. That gives me a total income of £13.89 for the month of October on my quarterly paying dividend. So having a look at my growth stocks for the month of October, you can see I bought seven more shares of Workhorse on the 8th of October 2021 at a cost of £31.40. I also bought 12 more shares of Isaiah Worldwide on the 7th of October 2021 at a cost of £14.01. So having a look at my value for the month of October, you will see Workhorse is still down but it has gone up a bit. Then we've got Rolls-Royce, which is a bit down from last month, but it's still in a plus. Then we've got QuantumScape, which has gone up a bit. Then we've got Sirius Corporation, which the profit has grown as well. Then we've got Tesla, which is nicely up from where we should be. Then we've got Isia Worldwide, that is still in a negative, but it's up from the last month. So I keep continuing to buying all my shares that's in the minus, so I can keep bringing my costing average down. But I'm still in a plus on my growth stocks for £93 for the month of October. Having a look at my free shares, you'll see I still have my Bio Nano Genomics, 7 shares of, Virgin Galactic, 10 shares of, and Dimension Mines, 18 shares of. Those shares give me a profit of £184.74. It is great to think that these are all paid for, and this is free shares I've earned by buying and selling shares. And I'm working on creating more free shares for me in the long run. I'll leave a link in the description below if you'd like to give me a call to discuss any of the topics in my videos. If you found this video helpful please give me a thumbs up to let me know and make sure that you subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. If you've got any topic requests or any questions for me please comment below and I'll get back to you personally. Have a lovely day guys. Bye!